Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also now offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you'd rather join my Patreon instead, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? So straight off the bat, I'm channeling an energy of someone that withheld their true emotions towards you. There's someone that definitely has always been in an energy of hiding their true feelings. It's like this was someone who would watch you from afar. You know, you went to high school with this person. You never knew they liked you. They never showed it, spoke it, acted like it at all. You never, it, it never even crossed your mind. But you knew them because you were in the same school. But nothing happens between you and this person. Till this day, nothing happens, right? But recently, I am seeing that you were out and about in your reality, in your life, in your world. And they saw you. And they just, yeah. Someone fell in love right then and there. It took them back to high school. After high school, they forgot and just left it alone. But seeing you opened up that wound again of unexpressed truth because they withheld their true feelings. They didn't speak their emotions. Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups. Like seeing you just activated something deep within them that they had kept hidden within themselves for so long, for years. This is a man that always felt like you were out of his reach, hence he never even bothered. He always felt like you would never, you would never even consider being with him. It would never even be something you do because he always saw you on the specific pedestal and level. He put you there since day one. And when he saw you, he sees that same person, but more of what they were, elevated, evolved, ascended, transitioned, transformed. They're seeing that. So they're seeing what they used to see in a different form. And it's more of what it was. So you can imagine how it impacted them. It just hit, like, you know, when it's like, and it just your mind takes you, your heart takes you everywhere because of what you see because you just like you know that's what happened yeah they definitely saw you in public and they fell in love they've been in love they just hid it that's the thing with feelings when they come out and it's uncontrollable there's nothing you can do so now, this person, ever since that day they saw you in public, they became fixated on seeing you again. It's like, I need to see this person again, and this time I'm going to approach them, I'm going to have a conversation with them, and we're going to see, you know, we're going to see, I don't know, I don't know. But inside, they know. 
they know that man. Those feelings still exist. Those emotions are still active. Like something never went away. It was just out of out of mind, out of sight, because they weren't seeing you, hearing anything, watching anything. Like this person just was like, you know what? This person's way out of my league. I won't even get myself hurt like that. And they just moved on. But seeing you recently, it just someone just lost their mind. Like, like they lost their mind. Like. Yeah, it blew their mind. It made them literally think like, what if this is my true person? Is it really a coincidence that after all these years I see them and knowing that I always carried feelings for them? Well, the actual truth of what happened is those withheld and unexpressed feelings and emotions built up over the years. And when they saw you, it just came out. And it has nothing to do with destiny or fate. It has everything to do with energy. It's that frequency, that, vi that vibration, that wavelength that they carried towards you. And they hid it. But it just, now it's like they're being faced with it. After a long period of hiding from their feelings, yeah, confirmation. It's like they can't run from themselves when it comes to this. And they feel like, it's like their mind is taking them all over. Because they're like, damn, you're not in high school no more. So you can do so much. Like, we can, we can date, you know, we can chill. I can even be a friend. Like, they're not taking it as personally as they were in high school. Of, like, being rejected because they like, yo, we can be anything. We can do anything. And, you know, because we've grown for real, right? With that horn, that beep, beep, it, that alert energy, it, like it feels to me that like, it's like this person is in a, a state of being of something is one sided with them. They feel like you and them back then was right person, wrong time, but now they feel like they can redeem themselves, and you know, it can happen this time. So you have someone that they like you and they've always liked you. They just never thought you'd like them back. And to this day, they don't know if you would ever like them back, but they're more than willing to try now. They're not taking it personally as before because this time they don't have to see you every day in the same building and face that rejection and that humiliation of the fact that you didn't want them. That's why they stayed away or they were able to because they just didn't want to risk, you know, the fact that now they have to like every day they have to face that not nah, rather not, you know, but now they're more than willing because they feel like they have nothing to lose. This person wants to offer you. Yeah, they want to they want you to be in a relationship with them. They want to propose a, a relationship. They want to offer you their heart in that way. They want you to be their girlfriend. Queen of Pentacles also is the energy. It's not just girlfriend. It's like, you know, the one that you want to build something with. They want to build something with you. Queen of Pentacles energy is the woman that, you know, you know you can, you know, settle down or you can really take things seriously. There can be a true bond. You know, it's real. Queen of Pentacles energy is a real woman, right? Yeah. True in their nature, true in who they are. We have the muse of inspiration and they see you as that. And on top of that, there's just this feistiness and this fire about you. You so got them attractive and sexy. And it's like, it's just, this person just didn't lost their mind. It's like, that person that they, they crushed on is now more than it, what they ever could have imagined. And it just, I mean, this guy is literally simping heavy, but it's, it's cute. 
They really want to be with you. They're afraid of your words. They're afraid of you, you know, but they, 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 they want to take the risk. They're going to take the risk. They're tired of holding back. It's not going to be like high school no more. I hear this, I hear this person saying like, no, I'm not going to allow myself to, to, to be on that. Let's tap in further to the energy. I'm not going to allow myself to be on that. I'm going to do it this time. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to not, you know, take action. I'm going to actually step in. So you're going to hear from someone after a long time. This person wants a relationship with you. Seeing you that day made them reevaluate their whole entire life. They want to build something real with you. They don't want to miss this opportunity to have something real. And they see you as more than like it's like more than just a prospect or more than just the potential. It's more than that. They see like something that can really be real. Like they just need to take action. That's how they feel. They feel like, man, all I need to do is just like step in. Because this person's already a real woman. They're true, they're genuine, they're sincere, they're authentic, they're original. So this will definitely go somewhere, right? So this person wants to take a risk. They want to have a relationship with you. They want to be with you. They're very attractive as well. Very well spoken, very disciplined. They don't do a lot when it comes to women. And they very much, you know, love themselves. You know, so this is a good guy. I'm channeling that. It's a good guy, okay? So with the Knight of Wands, this person is not even basing this relationship off of sex, right? It's not about, oh, let's do that thing where we poke at each other's body parts and activate brain stimuli that will send reactants to our DNA and now we are uh, aroused no th that's not what they keen on this person wants to sit down with you and have a conversation over dinner and a lit candle you want to look into your eyes and tell you how beautiful you are you know this person is actually a real guy they're a real man and they they really find you stunning and they think you absolutely are this bright fiery feisty person and they love that fire they love it. They've been loving, you know. Like you'd make their day. Like maybe you were in the same classes as them as well. Take take it out applies, but you'd make their day. Seeing you, hearing your voice, watching you strut in your little school uniform. Someone loved that. Like yeah, look at that. Like that was the lovers. It's that same energy, man. Like, This person regrets not taking action in the past because they feel like it'd be easier if you had a bond or history, right? And then it's not going to be like all new and it's like they have to literally introduce themselves. You know, they it'd be easier if you already have connected in the past, but they never even spoke to you. Or they were always shying away from having any conversation with you or avoiding even just looking you in the eye, you know? I keep seeing the lovers, like, yeah. They wanted to be that couple with you in high school where everybody know. Everybody know that you with them, you theirs, and it's that. They wanted that. They really did. They wanted to own you, like. But the thing about this person is they wanted to be serious when they were young. In high school, they were already thinking, man, what if I can wife her or... What if we can have something serious where we live together? You know, they always wanted something real. So they always saw that with you. And you can imagine how they feel now. You know, it's more, it's it's like very active energy. They definitely want to build, right? They want to have 
a relationship with you that's built on truth, that's built on passion, that's built on, um, you know, love. This person wants to say things that they wish they would have said in high school, especially on those days when it was raining and you were in the same class or they would see you and, you know, they loved the rain and they loved thinking on those days about how it would be like on these days when if you and them were to date. Like this person, because if you think about it, if you, when you would date someone in high school, you see them every day. You just don't live with them and you're just like in a constricted area where you can't really be however way you want to be with each other but this person was more than willing to be whatever with you in school they were just afraid of rejection and having to live with it but now they're coming out of that energy and they're ready to step forward and they you know hoping that you feel the same they're not going to stress it if you don't even though it will affect them but they won't put it on you. They'll understand. So don't think that this will turn into a crazed, obsessive person that will leave you alone because you said no. Nah. Instead, they would even want to be your friend. This person just wants to be in your energy. They love your energy. They've always loved your energy. They've always, you know, found it this fiery, this feisty. I keep channeling that. We have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. They feel like this is coming back around again and this time they need to do it right. So they're gonna take this seriously and as they propose this relationship to you, it's really coming from a genuine and sincere place. It's up to you if that's what you want for yourself or your life allows you right now or whatever really of your free will, but it's up to you in the end where you choose to go with this. And if coming into your life is a good thing, for them or not. Maybe you're in a relationship, maybe you're already in something, maybe you don't want something, or maybe you do take it out of price, but they want to build. Like this person at least wants you to know how they feel. You know, they, they don't think they can live with it any longer, especially because now it's been active and it just came out again and now it's not high school, you know, and I can't just, like I'm, adu I'm an adult and I acknowledge that I feel this. You know, I can't just ignore it like I'm a, I'm a boy in high school with my hormones. No, you know. That's why they're not even overly keen on the sexual activity. It's not even about that. This person wants realness. They want to take you out and, and actually talk to you and understand how you think and understand how you feel about life. So the ball is in your court. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer personal readings on my Patreon for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below as well as the link to my Patreon if you'd rather join my Patreon instead. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.